Now, I want to play you a little clip of Donald Trump and Virginia Senate candidate Hung Cao. They visited uh, the Vietnamese community in Falls Church and it was a bit of a love-in. Oh. Vietnamese community loves me and I love them. You know? yeah. I mean, long, uh, long ago, the Democrats took all these different minority communities for granted. They just presumed the bulk of minorities would back them. Those days are over. We've seen that with the Hispanic community, uh, many uh, segments of the Asian community. Uh, is this a change that is going to turn the polls? I don't think there's been enough analysis on how minorities are going to vote in this election. It's interesting. Uh, well, the, uh, second on the Vietnamese community, specifically before I talk about the Asian community writ large, um, but the Vietnamese community happens to have always voted more Republican than the rest of the Asian community, uh, mm. over 50% historically, when in 2016, the Asian community has voted, surprisingly, only 18% voted Republican in 2016. Now, in only eight years, oh, sorry, in only, in only four years, in 2020, Right, four years later, this might have been the most massive turnaround in the history of minorities. So there's been a significant change in the Asian community. I think it's going to make a, a massive difference. Um, what's interesting is, mm -hmm. now why, right? Why are we seeing this change? Now, I think there are very specific reasons. First of all, I think they happen to be uh, in California, in New York, where there's extremely high crime rates, particularly the Bay Area. They've noticed, they've seen where the crime is coming from, who is abetting the crime, and who is making excuses for the crime, i.e. the left. I think another important data point is this whole idea of the hatred of the left and its hatred of success. The Asian community is a symbol of success in our country. Mm -hmm. They are one of the highest earners in our country. They are a successful minority. I think they don't like being demonized for their success, excuse me, particularly when it comes to college admissions and even high school admissions. Right, there has been a concerted effort to demote Asians from successful from successful placement in in uh, successful high schools, elementary schools, and certainly colleges. Famously, uh, Harvard has specifically tried yeah. to stop Asians from coming from coming in. They are the only minority with a negative coefficient at Harvard. In other words, the only minority that being a minority has actually harmed them, not helped them outside the Jewish community. And this has not gone unnoticed. Absolutely. And they are damaged. I think the Asian community has learned these DEI policies that are supposed to help minorities actually damage them, as you mentioned, with Harvard and some of these Ivy League colleges. Uh, for an Asian student to gain admission, they have to do so much better than just about every other demographic, uh, Hispanic students, black students, even the white students. They, they are discriminated against that much because they're studious, they study, and they record good results. And of course, you've got to be punished for that. Now, before you go, Democrat Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib shared this clip of Jon Stewart criticising the DNC for not having Palestinian voices at the event. Have a look at the clip. They had black Americans, Hispanic Americans, Asian Americans, gay Americans, Jewish Americans, Palestinian Amer Oh. <laughs> To be fair, it was only four nights, eight hours a night. <laughs> but really, it's best not to think about the consequences of our actions over there. Ami, what's your response to that? Yeah, that is uh, highly disappointing. Obviously, John Stewart, um, you know, a, a Democratic supporter, uh, but also a prominent Jewish person who has supported Israel in the past. The consequences of what we're doing there, Rita, yeah, that's highly disturbing. The idea that the consequence of what we're doing there, Rita, is helping Israel defend itself from a terrorist regime. That's the consequences of what we're doing there. For him to spin that as a negative is really disturbing, uh, upsetting. Uh, don't like to see that. Um, and frankly, I think Rashida Tlaib is, is amplifying your voice. I think you have to look in the mirror and say, maybe I'm going down the wrong road here. That is very good advice there. If you're on the same page as her and the rest of the squad, uh, you need to reassess your life choices. Ami Horowitz, thank you so much for your time this evening.